take us back to Alaska um, as a little girl and just kind of what you remember from that. I didn't realize how fortunate I was until I'm an adult now that we just, we got to play outside. We got a lot of freedom. Like I remember like laying in mud puddles and letting my hair float in it and thinking like, I don't even know if I let my son do that now. But like, (laughs) I was just, I was a, I was a tomboy. Like I, I wanted to hang out with the, the little boys all the time. I never played with dolls. I always just wanted to be outside and, and, and around people and, um, and we had a really great little community that just really instilled in me a sense of, of family and, and, and wanting to build that community for myself as an adult. And, and that's one thing that's really cool about the archery community is that we have that. I got to grow up hunting with my family. Yeah, um, Dad was the guy that took you? Or no, so uh, Granny and Papa. Granny and Papa. Yeah, so cool. my mom's side of the family, um, they're... You know, we're always hunters. Uh, my dad's side of the family are deep sea fishers, so we have a we have a boat in the south um, of Alaska in Valdez, and um, so I always grew up fishing with my dad. Um, which, side note, I'm a fishing snob now, though, so that's kind of a negative. <laughs> the people are like, "Let's go fly fishing in Colorado." I'm like, oh, I caught this monster, and then they're like, that, and I'm like, that is not, a, no, no, that's not a monster. I'm sorry. If it's under 30 pounds, we throw it back, you right. know, because we grow up catching halibut, you know, and a, a good catch for the day is the same size as me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm competitive, you know. Right. You probably have gotten that already. <laughs> Just a tad. Just a little bit. So how did you get from Alaska to New York? How did that transition happen? So I, I got a scholarship to play softball. I played softball my whole life um, and volleyball. Um, traveled like down to the States. And that's how I fell in love with Colorado originally, too, is on my traveling softball team. So I moved out to New York City to go to grad school. Then it was so expensive. And I was waitressing all the time. I was making a boatload of money waitressing. Though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I loved it. So I have a degree in, <laughs> in forensic chemistry. Yeah, when I got the call from the NYPD for my first job, uh, I had to take a pay cut from my waitressing job. And I was like, oh, follow my dream or the money's, uh, okay, dream. So, um, yeah, so I worked with them for four years. And I did um, drug chemistry analysis. And then I did fingerprint analysis all in the lab. Wow. Um, and then I, I wanted to get out of New York. Colorado was like a good halfway point back towards Alaska and had everything I wanted. So there you go. Out, out I came. Wow, that's kind of And cool. then out here, um, I, I became a sworn agent with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. I started um, doing crime scenes out here too. So so I do both in the lab and, and out in the out in the field too. Cool. So yeah, I've always had like a mental toughness, uh-huh. and I think that that's something that. It, I've, I've talked about this before, like, you know, like that's something that I wish I could teach my son. I don't know how you teach that. 